guys welcome back to my channel special date with my husband tonight we are honestly just going to get barbecue but it's still date night and so i still want to get all dolled up not too dolled up because again we're going to get barbecue we're going to start off i did go ahead and you know wash my face did my skin hair all those things i am going to go in with an spf this is from super goop this is their unseen sunscreen this has SPF of 50 and it is water and sweat resistant that much and just apply it to the face. I also did prep my lips with the Flower Color Shift Lip Smoothie just to add some hydration to my lips and get it prepped for my lips later on. For primer today, I am going to be using my NYX Bear With Me Sunscreen Moisturizing Primer. Not, I'm just not not done being hooked on this stuff. This is so, such a good basic primer, I would say. I would definitely say that it's not like a super like sticky primer. It's not gonna be like a luminous primer. I feel like it definitely does give my skin a very natural glow to it, but it's not, nothing like too crazy. Okay, I feel like I definitely have to put my hair back I was going to take that clip out, but I think I'm just going to leave it in. And then I'm going to just oops, just stab myself in the face. And then I think I'm just going to take my hair and pull it back. I, I always get makeup in my hair, so I can never... I've, I don't know how girls do their makeup without their hair out of the way. I've seen so many people um, on YouTube and stuff that do their makeup with just their hair down, and I don't understand it. Foundation today. You know, I could always always go for my NARS light reflecting foundation it's such a good one but I did want to you know revisit some of my other foundations that I love a lot this is the L'Oreal Infallible Freshwear 24 hour I haven't used it in a while so I definitely wanted to revisit it I am wearing the shade 511 um, I'm not sure what shade that is I'm just gonna give myself a couple pumps in the back of my hand Instead of going in with a buffing brush today, I am gonna go in with this foundation brush, basically like a paint brush, and just gonna paint it on my face like this and just brush it onto the skin. Gotta get my handy dandy mirror out because I gotta get close up here. Okay, I'm gonna take my sponge and just start pressing that out. Now I know some of you might have been thinking, I hope you're not going to barbecue wearing that white shirt. No, I am going to change my shirt <laughs> before we leave. All right, I am gonna go in with another layer of foundation. Um, I just didn't really like the way that that sheared out once I got on, so I'm gonna go in with a different brush actually. I'm buffing in this way and hopefully, maybe we'll get some more coverage. Also, you probably may have noticed that I'm in a different location than I have been in several of my other videos. Um, I was sharing makeup filming room slash toy room with my kids and it just turned out to be more of a more of a hassle and I was like finding myself not wanting to film because it was such a hassle every single time. I'm in a different area and I just feel way better about it. So we'll see how it works but um, I am Definitely tinier space than um, I was when I was in the other room. I am a little bit more smushed, but I don't feel like I have to constantly put everything away um, after filming because it is was my kids' playroom as well. I feel like I can just kind of leave things the way they are after I'm done filming um, and kind of relax and not feel like I'm having to rush filming, rush cleaning up, things like that. So. I was, for concealer, I was going to use my NYX Bear With Me Concealer Serum, but I feel like we need to give some love to um, another foundation that I really love. So I'm going to go use my Infallible L'Oreal um, Concealer that goes with the foundation. And I'm using mine in the shade Fawn. And I was actually, I can still do it. I was going to put a color corrector on my eye under eyes today so I'm gonna take this this is from Bobbi Brown this is just their under eye corrector and it looks like this it's just kind of a 
pinky um, shades of, and I'm just gonna take some of my finger and I'm just gonna kind of pat that in. I wanted to put it underneath my concealer, but I didn't remember until the last minute. So we're just gonna do with what we have. And I'm also gonna take my concealer and just kind of go down the center of the face a little bit to kind of highlight a little bit. So for a cream contouring kind of effect, I bought this from Makeup Revolution. This is their Illuminating Under Eye, Con um, Under Eye Concealer, but I've heard good things about using this for a cream contour. It's People have compared it to the um, Charlotte Tilbury contouring wand. Anyway, I don't know if I even got the right color. So we're gonna try this out. Mine is in deep caramel. <laughs> I feel like this is going to be a fail, but we're gonna try it anyway. Um, I've already opened up and tried to twist it out, but sometimes twisting takes a long time. So what I'm gonna do though, is I'm gonna press it on the back of my hand first and then go in with a brush because I'm afraid that if I go straight in with the wand, I'm just gonna mess it up because I'm not used to doing that. Okay, I'm so nervous. I feel like this color is gonna be too dark on me, but we're gonna find out. Maybe we'll sheer out. Oh dear. Okay, well, let's just, uh... no, I feel like I added too much on my brush. So we're gonna start to just, I'm gonna just gonna take my sponge and hopefully blend this out. And hopefully we didn't ruin the makeup look. I just wanted to give it a try. Sometimes, sometimes trends or things that are going around sometimes are fails, but I actually, um, I feel like it's, it's doing okay. Picking up my foundation that's underneath though but I can't, I can't really tell. I don't know. This was not my favorite idea and I don't know why I decided to try it today since I'm going on date night, but we're gonna go on the forehead with it and I feel like parents just walked in the door and so I'm like, yeah, I get a cold store. Anyway, I feel like as I'm putting on the forehead though, that I really like it, but it's hard to tell like on the side of your cheeks and I don't have like a monitor to see what I'm doing. I literally just have the mirror in front of me. So hopefully it looks good. I guess we'll find out later, but I don't feel like it looks terrible. I don't know how I feel about that product specifically for contouring, but We'll just continue on with it, and you know, my mind might change. My mind might change the more that I use it and figure out the best way to use it for myself. Going with my Jaclyn Hill um, loose setting powder in the sh shade Sheer Fair. So I'm just gonna quickly kind of pat out any creasing that happened underneath the eye. Set the lids. Your brush, and just press that all over the rest of the face. Okay, so for a powder bronzer, I guess we're just gonna give love to our L'Oreal products today. I'm gonna be using the Infallible Freshwear 24 Hour Bronzer, and this is in the shade Light. I feel like this bronzer blends out really well. I always just like to go over everything after with my sponge after I kind of um, blend it out. Um, okay, for blush, I really wanted to revisit these Profusion um, Blush Hour. If you haven't seen my, I put, I did an Instagram um, get ready with me, and I honestly don't know if I saved it to my highlights. I thought I was planning on doing it but then I don't know if I actually did. But anyway, I in my Get Ready With Me, I used these. And a lot of people compare these to the Rare Beauty cream blushes or liquid blushes. Um, 
I mean, I don't know. I've never tried the Rare Beauty, but I really do like these. I'm going to go in with the shade um, Bellini. I wasn't too sure about this shade when I first tried it on, um, but I'm going to give it a try again today. And I'm just going to do one dot to start with. And I'm actually going to use a brush instead of my um, sponge first and see how that works. I think I'm going to go with my sponge. Pretty. It definitely takes a little bit to blend out. I feel, um, I also did set my face, so that might be another reasoning why it doesn't blend out so easily. It kind of sticks to some places, but if you just keep working with it, it will eventually blend out. But I actually really like that shade um, by itself. I tried to pair it with um, this is the shade rosé the other day, and I didn't like the way it looked, but I like it on its own because I feel like it just gives, you know, the slightest kind of bronzy um, to the cheeks, but not overpowering. I'm going to add a little to the apples of the cheeks here. For my eyeshadow palette today, because it's date night and I just want to feel a little bit more special, I am going to be going in with my Tati Beauty palette. This is not sold anymore, but that's the palette that I'm going to go in with today because this is not necessarily tutorial. If it was a tutorial, I probably wouldn't use this palette per se, um, but because it's just more of me getting ready for date night, this is the palette that I'm going to use. So I'm going to go in this shade called Soothe, and I'm just going to put this in my crease or in the, as a transition. I'm next going to go into this shade right here called Story. It's just this beautiful um, orange shade. It's going to help more pack on the color than anything. And then I'm just going to put this on the outer corner of the eye. Kind of creating a V, so applying it down here first and then bringing it up here kind of closer to the other shade, but I'm kind of creating a V shape. If you can kind of see that. Um, and then we're gonna go in and blend it. So we're literally just right now gonna just be packing on the color. My brush that we did with that first shade, I'm just gonna start to blend it out. Circular motions. I could kind of tell that I was gonna be getting a little too far out. So I'm just going to kind of do that with my finger to kind of just reshape the shadow a little bit. All right, so now I'm going to go in to this shade right here. I'm just blending the existing shadow I have on my eyelid. And then if I feel like I need more, I'll use that finger again and apply more of it. I am going to go back in to the orange shade story and just kind of add a little bit more of that depth that you kind of lost after applying the shimmer shade and kind of blending those two shades together. I'm going to go in a little with that brown just to kind of, um, oh that was a lot man, dang it. I might have just ruined this look with that. That was not my intention. <laughs> Let's go back in with that Aurora shade and see if we can lighten this back up again. And that's not what I meant to do. That was like really harsh. So I'm going to go back in with that brush again. It kind of got dirty with that orange shade. So I'm going to see if I can kind of wipe some of that off. Get a little bit of that brown. Definitely tap a lot of the excess off. And kind of this clean brush. I'm just going to blend everything out because I feel like I went a little too overboard with that brown shade. See, this is what can happen sometimes when you have to like go back in and you just kind of mess everything up. Apply a little bit of this glitter 
Um, this is also in the shade Aurora. And I'm literally not even picking up a lot because I don't want to go too crazy. But I definitely want some sparkle on the eyes. Oh, sparkle in your life. Oh, that was a lot. So don't go crazy like me because glitter can be sometimes hard to... Okay, definitely wasn't expecting to go crazy with the glitter, but here we are. Um, anyway, I'm going to go do the lower lash line really quick. Um, I think I'm just going to go in with the Soothe shade, the first shade that we used, that brown, and go under the lower lash line here. I'm going to use this Maybelline Lasting Drama Gel Liner. I haven't used this in a while, but I love it. It's just really black. I'm going to just take a angled pencil, take it on the back of my hand, and just kind of get some of the product off that you can see like it's immediately pigment. I'm just going to draw a line from the middle of my eye to the outer corner and kind of feel kind of slowly adding um, more liner as I get closer to the inner corner I don't usually wear black liner a lot liner a lot but um, I definitely wanted to bring, bring a little bit more of a more I don't know I just wanted it to be a little bit more since it's date night, I guess. Uh, I am going to be using, this is from Benefit, this is their Bad Gal Bang. I'm just using the sample size, um, I just want to see how I like the mascara. So far, I like it, I don't know if I love it, like, through, I've gone through like maybe two samples already, so it's like, well, if I keep repurchasing it, then I probably like it, but. I don't know if I feel like I can commit myself to actually buying a full bottle. At the same time, I feel like mascara can dry up pretty fast. So if you buy a full tube, and if you're doing like your makeup like every single day, that's probably going to be worth it. But whereas I only do my makeup, well, with doing YouTube now, I am doing my makeup almost every day, but... I do use other mascaras besides just one mascara, so it's kind of nice to just get the sample size rather than a full size. I do feel like it separates my lashes really well, but also gives me volume and length at the same time. I have a couple of like marks, which I will take away. I'm just gonna let them dry. I'm gonna see something really cute. I'll show you guys something really cute. Um, <laughs> so do you see like this footprint right here? It's from my daughter. She got all wet from playing outside and her shoes fell off so she was running barefoot. Anyway, but her, I tried to make sure her foot didn't get on my shirt, but it did anyway. Instead of getting mad that it got on my white shirt, I'm just, I'm just treasuring it. How many more years before that's not gonna happen anymore? Like, I mean, she's not gonna let me hold her as much anymore. And so I'm just gonna treasure it. It's on my white shirt, but that's okay. And do my eyebrows really quick. I'm using my Benefit Precisely my brow pencil. Plucked my eyebrows last night, so I'm like hoping that I didn't pluck them too much. But that's always the case. Is I'm always like, oh dang it, I plucked it too much, and now I'm gonna have to wait. one downside of recording on your phone is that you have no way of knowing um, when your phone stops recording. I do, I have a mic plugged in to my um, jack and so because it's plugged in I can't hear anything on my phone. Anyway, so you guys saw me fill my eyebrows was the last thing you guys saw. I literally just went in and I set my face. I put my lipstick on which I'm using the NYX nude beige lip liner with the um, MAC Velvet Teddy lipstick on my lips and that's pretty much it what you missed but again 
sorry that you missed it this is the final look i hope that you guys enjoyed hope you guys maybe learned something new um and just you know enjoyed um this video give it a thumbs up if you did yeah if you're not subscribed but you want to be subscribed and notified of future videos that i upload smash the subscribe button down below and you will be notified of future videos that i upload thanks so much for watching guys and i'll see you in my next video bye